In today's video, we're going to be talking about the amazing Scottish wildcat. <laughs> so at the wildlife park, we like this Scottish cat here. It's really hard to tell apart what's the difference between a domestic cat and a Scottish wildcat because they look really similar, if you ask me. But there's a few ways you can test out. One is genetics. Yeah, obviously these cats have to hunt in the wild to survive, so there's techniques that have been built different. They're a wee bit more stockier, while our domestic cats can be more slimmer and more edge, more like slimmer and more agile. While these guys are obviously built bulkier, but also it's a fur. Usually the Scottish cats are much thicker fur on the tail and the body, so obviously keep them nice and warm in this cold Scottish weather. While house cats here, yeah, we have big fluffy cats, and not usually the same. They've got different kind of fur. It's really hard to tell the difference and that's why it's quite hard for us people and scientists to find out what Scottish cats in the wild are actually purebred and not being bred with domestic cats. Scottish wildcats unfortunately are critically endangered nowadays. There's no many left in the wild and this is due to a couple of things. One being land loss. There's not much land left in, for them to ha habitat and better to live. And also the biggest thing is there's breeding with domestic cats. There's too many of them, too many domestic cats and not enough of them to breed with. So we're not getting purebred wildcats and more just inbreds of them with the domestic cats. So scientists don't really know how many is left in the wild. If you walk with me, we'll see how good that is. La da 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 da